Again, again, I was interrupted. It's like I keep getting interrupted. I keep have to making another part video, uh, but I get back into it. Yeah, so, so you know, um, you know, that's the way this world is. You know, you don't just, and 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 I think that's what makes things unique. You know, because because you don't just start off as an adult. You know what I mean? You have to start off as a child, which is a bit of a dilemma. You know what I mean? You start off as a baby. And you have, and, and in order to be a genuine baby too, you gotta grow like that way, the way that you are. And you grow, 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 grow. And, and to me, it was like, you know, I had to become an adult before I could even get my foot into the world. You know what I mean? What I could, I, I had to become an adult before I could begin my life. You know what I mean? And before I, before, I had to become an adult before I even got into like, a, get, I got into the cave of the world, you know? And then from the cave, I got into like the actual world. Like, like where, where there's, everybody where there's everything you know what i mean you, you know what i'm saying like animals trees people whatever the case is but coming out of the cave but there's so much that i was able to do while in the cave you know what i mean there was so much i was able to establish and everything and then i come into this world you know where there's trees where there's people where there's animals all kinds of animals and everything there's animals everywhere on this planet obviously you know and i guess that was my process you know what I mean? But I don't feel bad about it because I know that that time was really like not even existed. You know what I mean? It was, it was, it's just such a, uh, like it, it's a bit of a complex idea, but it's like, I wasn't even there. And that's why I was talking about weight in the last video when I was talking about past and present. It's like the weight in that past life is like so light, like almost like into nothing. Like the weight is like this. You know what I mean? It's like almost in a nothing. And the weight in actual life is like insane. You know what I mean? And that's that's when I realized that I'm living on a platform that everybody is living on. You know, and now I feel it. I mean, people used to tell me stuff like I'm not aware of things that are happening. Maybe I'm not the most aware right now, but I can, you know, I can feel being more aware. You know what I mean? Just automatically. You know, when you have a human being, everybody could call them the dumbest person in the world or her. And they really are. Um, but even they are able to sense who they are, what they are, what they're doing. You know what I mean? In, in, in the right places. You know what I'm saying? You know, versus me in that old time having an artificial mentality. Because using my conscious all the time versus my instinct. Not being able to feel my instinct and subconscious. Following my conscious mind almost with blind faith to be like, okay, so what should I do next? What should I do after that? What should I, you know what, I, you, you see what I'm saying? What should I be doing? What's better? What's worse? What, what should I pick? What should I not pick? What should I go with? And that's when I tell you that I wasn't just following my own thing, man. You know, my life always had some kind of process with it. You know, even, even when it feels like, oh, did you fail and go into this? No, not at all. I didn't fail and go into something. I was already planning on getting to something before I failed. And then I, you know what I mean? It's like, I was already, I already had my flight booked to Cuba. I didn't meet up with a chick. And then the next morning I flew to Cuba, I booked a flight to Cuba. No, I had that flight booked to Cuba. I met up with that chick just before I went. And then I flew to Cuba. You know what I mean? Like, that's how my life was. You know, but at this point, I mean, I got to tell you, it, it, it's good and bad. I mean, I mean, not being existent, you kind of are left to your own devices. You don't exist, but you're left to your own, own devices. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's like, it's like just not existent, you know, and, 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 and then you're existent, you know, everything matters all of a sudden, you know what I mean? So, so it, it, it's a different world. Now for me, I just feel like I'm just weeks into it, you know, possibly, you know, I feel like. Even though I felt like I was at my age, like now I'm in the world, I'm looking at myself, I'm like, dude, I feel like I'm just like 21 years old at the moment, man. I'm not even like in my 30s, I feel like a 21 year old. You know what I mean? But but I will tell you, like honestly, I mean, I mean, I was talking about being a really ill dude, right? And 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 I told y'all how really ill, if you're a really ill dude, man, you gotta have one real sport that you're actually really good at, man. Or, or really, really, really good at. Not even all right at, you gotta be really good at that. And, and I'm glad I found my thing because with that soccer being the most popular sport in the world, that's an easy one. And being at the level that I'm right now, I mean, I mean, it just did wonders for my self-esteem. It did wonders for, 
the way I feel, it did wonders for who I am, you know, knowing that I was like, and that's the thing, because because being being in the world, actually, that's when you you can, you, you know, people used to tell, say all the time that I didn't know how good I was, I didn't know how fast I was, I didn't know how smart I was, that I was stupid because I didn't use my talents and things like that, you know what I mean, but they didn't know that, you know, that, that I couldn't sense anything. And if I can't sense anything, I don't know which way to go. I don't have a direction or anything because I can't sense it. Naturally, did some, even a piece of shit does a piece of shit action that he hates, but still his senses and instinct took him there. That I didn't have, you know? So, uh, you know, that's all going off my mind. And, and now having that, you know, and I'm telling you, I didn't have a self-esteem, but you know, at this point, I, I, I have a self-esteem. I used to tell people all the time, I used to be like, dude, I feel like I can't breathe sometimes. Not physically, it just feels like socially and, and personally, like in this world, I can't get oxygen in me. You know, that's how it used to feel to me. And, and now it's like, I got it going. And I gotta tell you, the soccer thing did wonders because look, in the underground, like like I robbed the bank, that's not fucking, that's not, on, that should be on the surface though. That was in the news, in the in newspaper or whatever. But um, that should be there, you know what I mean? Cause I robbed that bank in daylight, by the way. You know what I mean? In, 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 in like in like a like like in, in like a busy place, and, and you, you know what I mean. So I did that, right? And, and, and there was there was probably like there was a lot of people there. None of them turned witness, apparently. Um, none of them wanted to be witnesses, but uh, there was a lot of people. St was, it was a long lineup, you know. And I just ran right over that counter and got in front of everybody. Got got in there, got my money, and got out. But the point is that you know it's one thing to even be something in the underground. You know, for me, having an underground and having an underground ability, because as a, almost like wanting to be a perfect child, you know, when you're, when you're genuinely a child, you don't get to that place. That's for adults, really. You can only get through that through another adult, you know, and, 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 and when I, and I didn't have that, but for me now, you know, I can do that. I can have that. So on the, even, even if in the underground, even if I'm the illest, even if I'm like so amazing, you know, I still needed something like in real public life to lift my self-esteem and to make me really as good as I am, to open doors for myself, to make myself better. And that was the perfect vehicle. Now, I, that's not why I got into it. I got into it because, you know, it was being thrown as an idea to me. You need this, you should do this, blah, 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 try it. I went first time and I just watched. Second time, I was like, let me play a little bit. I started playing, I was like, dude, I can do this. My third time, fourth. And then I just started getting serious into it. Started watching tape of, of, of World Cup FIFA tournaments, of Premier League games and stuff. And I started studying players and being like, I can do this, I can do that. I, I had never really, like, I had played a little bit of soccer, but naturally, I was, I, it was my natural sport because I'm quick and I'm fast. With my, with my body, I can pivot, I can stop and go, and I can do all that. So learning, the, like getting the dribbling natural and all that, it wasn't, it wasn't that difficult at all. But really, you know, for a real public, pop, well, the most popular public sport in the world, being soccer or football, European Europeans call it football, being the best thing, I mean, within five or six, I'd say by the seventh game, I was like, dude, this is a vehicle. I have to use it, man, because this vehicle is pushing me forward. This vehicle is making me better and better and better. I'm getting real results in life, man. I can feel it, I can sense it. This is an amazing vehicle. By the end of it, when, when it ended, you know, and, 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 and unfortunately, you know, well, it ended the way it did, but I was kind of glad because I had maxed it out and I had done everything that I could with that tool, with that game, I had maxed that game out. There was nothing more that I could get out of it. You know, I'd already gotten there. I had done everything a, a hundred times. I didn't, I didn't need that anymore. And that's when I realized, I was like, if I ever play soccer again, it's gonna be with like 20 guys who know how to play really good on a full field, a proper full field. And we're gonna play a real fucking game. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like I said, being in a half of a field, it helped a lot because, you know, you're constantly, with fewer people, you're constantly touching the ball. So I got to display how good I was. It's, it's like, if you ever watch, there's a video of Ronaldinho playing as a child in an indoor gym, in an actual league, and he's just doing amazing tricks all over by himself, everything. And, and that's really, because that, that, I got to touch the ball a lot, so I'm doing all these amazing things, and it's amazing. But I know that it's, I got to get to that real game, man. Even though I won't be touching the ball as much, it means more when you do actually touch the ball. Probably got to get my cardio up for that to do 90 minutes or whatnot. You know what I mean? It, it would be really cool, but... 
that's my thing for that. But really, you know, it, it worked for me. Like it made me like a cooler person, to be very honest. It made me like, I wouldn't say it made me smarter, but it increased my sense with the world. You know, I started understanding people. It was incredible. And really sports is, if you're antisocial, like I told you, my first, uh, my first time in jail, I was playing soccer in the yard again and again. Like we were playing soccer in the yard. You know what I mean? Because these kind of sports, man, they do develop you. You know, people that say, oh, these, this place is horrible. Oh, why did they help this guy? Yeah, first of all, they didn't help me. But, you know, taking advantage of things like that is a good thing because I might have come in antisocial and narcissistic and I'm coming out a much better person. But it was really easy for me. I mean, I mean, once I started feeling myself, once I started, I started get, even when I got in that enclave, I got so good that I was like, dude, I'm so good right now. You know what I mean? And I was like, man, I'm so good. But that soccer just made it like, just seal the deal, put it in stone in front of everyone's eyes to see like, you know, this is the type of person you're dealing with. You don't know people like this, man. This is a really, really, you don't understand what it's like. You know what I mean? You don't understand, man. Even if you're a track runner, that ain't shit, man. I'm sorry, that ain't shit. And even if you are, I mean, I mean, look at how big, um, look at how big Michael Phelps became doing his swimming stuff. You know what I mean? Winning all those medals. But the thing is, listen, man, soccer is the number one thing in, in the world. And when you're playing at that level, it's insane, man. Now, obviously, you know, I'm not jumping right in with, with, with uh, Messi and Ronaldo, obviously. You know what I mean? I'm not doing that. But if I played a game with guys who really, I know I can do so much better. And, and I'd like heart. I'd like the best guys that I can get because, you know, I just... I mean, I mean, I know I can take decent guys and, and it's nothing for me. So I need really good guys to really bang, bang against, you know what I mean? Really go hard against, you know, and, 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 and we'll be trying to see who's got the better field vision, I guess. That's, that, that would be the only thing I have to work on is getting used to a big field and having a field vision. So I know that if I steal and I go right or I go left, where will I pass it? Where will I shoot it? Where, where should I dribble? Where should I run to? You know, it's just, just kind of adjusting. It's, it's not a big deal at all. Adjusting to a bigger field. Uh, but I, I guess so for the last time I will tell you, you know, soccer did wonders for my life, man, because I was I'm playing at such a high level that it just it just made me just, you know, it, it, it just it did me a big favor, really. It was like a vehicle that I was using, you know, and, and, and it was great. You know, night, you know, the, 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 the underworld out there, you know, I, I got in the underworld you know, um, with, with little things and then robbing a bank. You know, that's how I got in the underworld. I know that I know my world out there. I know I know nightclubs, man. I know night worlds and stuff like that. I know parties and I know when people get together, man. I know that kind of stuff. That is nothing for me, man. That is just like, I'm better at that than I was at soccer. I'm way better at that. And to me, that's real life. You know, getting out there, talking to people, when, 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 when clicks collide, when egos collide, you know, when you have to work with egos, when you have to work with clicks, you know what I mean? That's real life out there. That I had down pat already. You know what I mean? That I got down, I, that I got pat down already, but we're talking about like soccer and soccer as a vehicle and a sport and being a family sport, where little children and old people watch, where all types of national, all everyone in the world is watching. It's the biggest thing. It's the biggest hit, the biggest sport. You know, to be able to do so high in that is it's just, it just did wonders for my life, you know? The night thing was one thing because there was only underground people that knew who I was, you know? But with this, it was like, dude, everybody gets to see how fucking good I am. And that is a big deal, man. You can't do anything in this world and, and, and ignore that part of the world. That's what I'm telling you. If you're a really ill dude, you got to do a day sport. You got to understand what it's like to bump heads with families. You got to understand what a family sport is. You got to understand what a sportsman spirit is. You got to understand how to work around people when people are watching what to do. You know, you got to understand how to connect to the public, how to connect to the world. And that did it for me. I don't need to play another game there in that little field. It's not going to do anything for me. But again, like I told you, I like to get on a big field one day do a real game. Now, that was a very good video. I feel very good about it. Again, just putting out more content and, and I think new people will be impressed. I think the old subscribers will continue to enjoy it, probably get more and more into it, probably carry it with them. So we're gonna wrap it up right here and uh, it's done.